This is one of the most amazing Sudoku puzzles I've seen. It has absolutely no numeric clues. Not even cage sums, as usual in Killer Sudokus. It has some relational clues, but only 8 of them. That's a record low number, as far as I know. Let's see the exact rules. Rule 1, normal Sudoku rules apply. Rule 2, no cage can contain a number more than once. And Rule 3, sums of numbers in cages, obey the indicated relationships. For example, the sum of all numbers in this cage needs to be smaller than the sum in this one. And these two cages need to have equal sums. Puzzles like this are sometimes called greater than killer Sudokus. Currently it's not known whether it's possible to have fewer than eight defining relation clues. The author of this gem is Miyuki Misawa. I encourage you to try the puzzle yourself. If you want to see how to start cracking it, carry on. First, let's notice that even cages without relation signs provide useful information. Let's call the number in this cell A. It can't be anywhere else in the first column, or the cage it belongs to. But it needs to be somewhere in the box above, and there's only one place left. Now it can't be elsewhere in the second column either, nor in the other cage it's already in. But it still needs to be somewhere in the topmost box, where there's only one place left again. Similarly, let's call the number in this cell B. In box below, it has only one place to be at, so there it is. And finally, let's call this number C. Then C has to be here, and here too. Let's focus on this 7-cell cage. It has to sum to at least 28. That's the minimum, attainable only when the cage contains all numbers 1 to 7. Then the next cage needs to sum to at least 29, and the last one to at least 30. But a 4-cell cage can't sum to more than 30, because it can't contain anything larger than 6, 7, 8, 9. That means we have locked the sums. 29 can only be 5, 7, 8, and 9. And the upper adjacent cage can only be 29 or 30. Now suddenly there are two restrictions for C to be seen. Since they need to both hold, C can only be 6 or 7. Note that the sum of the two cages covering the center right box is 58. On the other hand, a sum of a box is always 45, so the two outside cells must add up to 13. Thus we have a 6-7 pair in the 30 cage, meaning the remaining cells are 8 and 9, and another in the 7th row, leaving only one spot for 7 in the 29 cage. That's our first solved number. Now this is 6, that means C is 6. This is 7. We already have a 6 in the 7th row and in the last column. So in the last box it has to be inside the purple cage. That means its sum is at least 12, in case of containing 6, 1, 2, and 3. Next cage is at least 13, but its upper cell can already contain at most a 4. So the sum is 13, the lower cell is 9, and the left cage sums to 12. The remaining two cells in the box are 5 and 8. This is 9 and 8 and a few numbers fall quickly now. 8 has to be in this cage, and it has only one place, so there it is. Looking at the intersection of the 7th row and the bottom left box, we see there are only 1, 2, and 3 left to be there. Therefore, that's what the values of A can be. I'll leave you to solve the rest of the puzzle. It has still many amazing ideas left, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you like the video, let me know in the comments what puzzle topics you'd like me to cover next. And see you next time.